Hey guys, I'm Sebastian at Performance Play Sports here in Costa Mesa, California. I'm going to show you some of my favorite stretches for carpal tunnel syndrome today. I'm going to say carpal tunnel syndrome with quotation marks because um, we don't know if it's carpal tunnel syndrome, but we know that a lot of these things do work with people who are experiencing numbness of the thumb, um, index ring finger, uh, um, I guess middle finger, and half of the ring finger. So usually it's classified as carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, but there could be many reasons why you're having this type of thing. Don't, be for, don't, be, don't forget to be checked out by your doctor first. Uh, by the way, uh, subscribe to our channel. There's a little button in the corner here, and on that, you can use the search function later. Just put in carpal tunnel syndrome, and we did a longer full-length video on um, uh, qualifications for carpal tunnel syndrome, as well as some other things it could be, uh, and so on. So I won't cover it all in this video. So here's the first thing, uh, uh, first exercise I like to do, and probably the thing to note is, is first off, Ideally, this will work with people with what we call intermittent numbness, all right, or intermittent pain. By the way, it can be numbness, pain, shooting, stabbing, all into this region, sometimes into this area, um, and, and these exercises would work for, if they're typically intermittent, circumstantial, worse at night, um, or sorry, uh, worse when you're sleeping or laying down on your back, worse when you're sitting in a chair uh, with walking, whatever. It just has to be like circumstantial. If it's tingling, numb, painful all the time, uh, there might be a chance that uh, the, the nerve has lost some of its functionality. Not to say it won't come back, but it, these things typically won't work and, and show a, they won't show a good change immediately. Not to say they're wrong, it's just they won't show any uh, changes immediately. So the first thing we like to do is have people explore neck range of motion just to see, does this change any of your hand numbness? Or is there a certain direction that's is particularly sticky? Okay. Next is we'd like to have them do this with their wrists just to figure out if any of it, bo any of it bothers you. If you need to rewind, feel free to re rewind it, okay? So kind of using those as a baseline and figuring out, well, yeah, this was sticky, one of them was sticky, this, this one was kind of iffy, yeah, perfect. Like just, just note, like rate it, scale of one out of 10, 10 is terrible. One, uh, zero is perfect, no pain, so I guess you wouldn't pick that. It's probably gonna be somewhere in the middle. Um, rate it, and, and then come back to it after you try an intervention. Um, I'll start with people who are, are dealing with um, both hands. Um, so the first thing I like to do is just have them take um, a rope, a jacket, something like that, um, and, and it's nothing too extreme that we're gonna do. Um, this is just to give a, a, a little fulcrum point, as I kind of call it. Um, actually, a jacket or a sweater rolled up works pretty well in the circumstances. So uh, I like to think, hey, you're James Bond, and you want to show everyone your really cool, like, what do they call them? Clasp? Cummerbund? Whatever it is. And you just kind of hold it, and we're going to place this a little bit higher. So here's my neckline, and it's just a little bit higher. And we're just going to slowly look up. You don't have to go as far as me, all right? It's an important thing. Just go as far as you can. It shouldn't be painful. It should feel just like it's a little bit stiff, kind of in the neck, totally normal. Um, and as you start to go further, just, just start looking. You start to look further over your, over your shoulder. Just keep going as I'm talking. Um, the things, by the way, I, I should note again that these shouldn't hurt. All right. If they hurt, they might not be the right first aid for you. That's why I'm including uh, a couple different stretches uh, that will work for various different types of circumstances. But a lot of times this was not the one that I want to give older people, um, people over the age of probably 60, 70, um, mainly uh, because their problem can be from something else. All right. But certainly younger people, um, you know, 30s, 40s, which is where a lot of these things spike up. Um, do about 10, 20 of them and, and then check again. You might find your neck range of motion is better. Maybe. You might find that some of these things are better. Maybe. Or you might not. Um, better is not perfect, by the way. We're looking for better or improvement. And so this is just one of the first stages we give people and have them go home. And if it feels good, generally speaking, if it feels good, do more of it, right? until it doesn't become helpful, which it won't be at some point. Because this is a, we call these first aids. We don't necessarily use them long term. We use them for about a week. Um, and it's, it's step one of four of recovery from this. 
If you want it to not come back and you want to be able to return to activities that you've recently done um, and you want to do, not just the ones that you have to do, like, like I don't want to work, but I want to play baseball. And if you want to be able to grip a bat hard again, go past step one. I mean that the nicest way, okay? Um, because a lot of you will stop at this if this works on this YouTube video, but I encourage you not to because it's, it's kind of, it's kind of irresponsible to only do that. I know pain reduction of pain is really uh, on people's mind, but it, it, there, there's functionality and returning to the life that you want is a, is a bigger thing. So the second thing we're going to do is for people who are dealing with, um, again, both sides here, we're going to take the opposite approach. And this is just looking down. This is going to usually work for people who are into their 70s or so. And we're just going to breathe deep. I don't need you to stretch a lot. We're just going to hold it. I know you're, you might be thinking, oh, we're going to hold it for about a minute, by the way. You might be thinking, what does this have to do with the carpal tunnel syndrome? Well, uh, it has to do with hand numbness. And this is the most, uh, neck, neck issues are probably one of the more common reasons for hand numbness that is unresolved. So your carpal tunnel syndrome, quote unquote, that has not gotten better, could be from the neck. Uh, and kind of a saying that, that things that will get better with common treatments will get better. So if you've gone to hand therapy and it's, and it's worked really well, then this is not the right video for you. And so I'm going to still hang down there. Just breathe deep into the belly. Okay. And then retest. Head up, head down, turn, turn, tilt, tilt. Do these things. Just do them slower. You know, Do they feel better or not? If they feel better, great. That one might be helpful to you. Now, another one we like to do is um, I'm gonna use my chair to do so. And so I'll try to back away as much as I can. And so hands up or uh, just, just mainly one hand to support the head. You can do two if you need. Um, but all these should feel comfortable, by the way. It should feel just a little challenging on range, but they shouldn't hurt at all. And so we're just going to find a section of the back, but right on the shoulder blades, and just bend backwards. You might get a couple mid-back pops in this, completely normal. If this hurts one of your arms, just put that arm down. Okay, if it hurts the other arm, go more narrow with the elbows. And so we're just gonna do 15 of these. How do you know it's the right spot in your mid-back? You don't. Just do a little bit and then move. Slouch down a little bit, get a little higher. Or get taller and do it a little bit lower. Okay, make sure you pick a firm chair. This one's not too firm with me, so I feel like I'm fighting a little bit. But it shouldn't feel like you're doing anything for the hands, which is a confusing thing to people because they're like, what are we doing for the hands? Well, you'll know when you go like this and it's better. So try it again, okay? The, um, test things out while I just speak. Um, the, people tend to search for a stretch or something effortful to make them feel better and that's not the case most of the time it's something that makes it so your symptoms go away and so it should feel comfortable it should feel like you're doing nothing just do more of it now the last thing i want is the, the i hate my job by the way um whatever one you like the best just comment below so i'm going to do the i hate my job position which is just here and just stay there does it matter where you put your elbows? Yeah, put them in a, just kind of copy me, right? I wouldn't overcomplicate this. And just breathe deep. You had a long day. Do that for a minute. And then come up and retest again. Now, what have we done? Well, so we've put some nerves on slack up here. We've addressed um, a little bit of disc irritation with one of them. Uh, we've addressed some uh, stenotic change with other ones. Um, and we've addressed some mid-back mobility as a driver with another one. A lot of times this helps. Locally at the hand, we typically provide a different type of treatment if it truly is trapped within the carpal tunnel. It's not going to be within this video, but these exercises are ones that you're not going to find a lot of on YouTube. So um, I'm hoping that you take that as in, in the light that it's intended. Um, we can certainly make a full-length video with hand-specific stuff, 
but there's a lot of good videos on YouTube about that type of thing, so I, I don't think I need to do overkill, but I've found that um, many people who are struggling with unresolved hand numbness, carpal tunnel types of syndromes, um, they, just, they just have not found the right um, compression point, and they haven't found the right remedy that works well for them. And so if you're looking for that, um, just reach out to us. It doesn't matter how many doctors you've been to, how many um, people in therapy you've failed with, that's, that's okay, all right? We excel in those types of cases. Uh, we do a very thorough examination. We do a full neurological and orthopedic workout. We don't need machinery to do so. If we feel like you need imaging, we'll send you out for imaging. So we're very honest, very thorough. Um, and we take a lot of pride in our work, and as you, as you can tell, hopefully through this video, that we care, all right? Um, we, do a, we do a lot of one-on-one um, -on -one FaceTime, so if you ever feel like you've been rushed out of a doctor's office, this isn't gonna be that type of interaction, all right? And so we are going to make the best custom plan we possibly can for you with hand numbness or carpal tunnel in mind. So reach out to us, we're in Costa Mesa. We also have um, online options too. They will all be in the link description below. Some might flash across the screen here too. Um, but we do our very best to provide the best free information as you, as you can see through this video. Hopefully it was um, it's very telling enough to see that the hands change when these other parts are affected too. Um, just to bring to light that there's hope for you. Because a, a lot of times people feel like there's no hope um, because they've tried everything. Um, you haven't tried everything, you haven't tried us, all right? We do things very differently. We do them according to current research uh, and evidence-based practices. Uh, and again, we're very honest and very good at what we do. So hopefully help you out along the way. If you need some help online, just reach out to us too. Performance Play Sports Care Coast Mesa. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, please. Thumbs up. See you soon.